and welcome, this is Lean and today I bring you the third episode of the Ability Comparisons. Today I will talk about Run Speed Up. Run Speed Up is an ability that was heavily used in Splatoon 1. It increases the movement speed in Inkling form and is unchanged in its basic form. Contrary to Splatoon 1, there are now different weight classes for each weapon. In this game there are three different weight classes, Light, Medium and Heavy. The Medium class is what we are used to from Splatoon 1. Before I start telling you about the differences between these weapon classes, I start to show you the weapons that belongs to each category. For example the Light weapons consist of the Junior, the Aerospray Clash Blaster, the Ink Brush, the Depple de Release, the Carbon Roller and the Splusher Matic. This is a fairly small pool of weapons compared to the medium weapons, which is basically close to every weapon. The heavy weapons consist only of three, the Eliter, the Elite Scope and the Dynamo Roller. When you have one of these weapons, then your base run speed depends on the weight class of the weapon. Light weapons have a default speed at 1.04 units per frame. Medium weapons start at 0.96 units per frame. Heavy weapons start at 0.88 units per frame. But they don't differ that much at the end when you go with three pures, because all of them end at the same value of 1.44. To see the differences between these weight classes, I made a line and then I took one weapon of each class and just went through the line and compared the times and frames. It is easy to see that the light weapon was the fastest, the medium weapon was the second and the heavy weapon was the slowest of them. Now I do the same thing again, but instead of no run speed, I go with three veins of run speed up. We can easily see now that the gap between these three speeds got closer, but the light one is still the fastest and the heavy one still the slowest. Now it's time for actual numbers. In this graph we can see three lines. One represents light, one represents normal and the last one, the green one, represents the heavy weight class. We can see that the heavy weight class is the one that gains the most out of run speed up while the light class is the one that gains the less out of the run speed up ability. But how does run speed up behaves when you are shooting? In Splatoon 1 it was like you had a weapon speed and you had your run speed up value and they were just multiplied together and all is good. So the more run speed you have then you would feel the same effect on the weapon when you are shooting or when you are just running around. In Splatoon 2 it changed a tiny bit. Now there is a special weapon run speed up value instead of the normal run speed value as in Splatoon 1. This weapon run speed up value does not distinguish between weight classes. So for an elite it would have the same effect as for the Splasher Junior. It always starts at 1.0 and it ends at 1.25, so you can only go up up to 25% instead of 50% as in the last game. Thanks to the new scaling of run speed up, the weapon itself feels a bit faster than in Splatoon 1, and when you're using one sub or two subs, it actually still feels faster than in the previous game. But now, when you're using more run speed, it doesn't have that much effect as in the last game which can be heavenly seen on the tent attack, which was seen in the first game with the most to pure run speed and now you see barely run speed on it because of the smaller effect of run speed on it. The last question that remains is are there other changes? Yes they are. The H3 and L3 nuzzle nose got a speed buff, the heavy and the mini splatling got a speed nerf, same as the slosher, the tri slosher the carbon roller, the dynamo roller and the splat roller. For the exact run speed values of anything, you can just look in the google docs that is linked in the description below. Thank you for watching and I hope that you liked this video and see you next time.